guys, I'm Mooney, you're watching Mini Reads, and today I bring you my booktube readathon wrap up. So originally I was going to do a vlog every day for the booktube readathon, and then I looked at my subscription feed and I just thought that, you know, it was just so many people were uploading daily vlogs that it was just going to be crazy. So I decided that I was just going to leave it be, go on Twitter, tweet my you know, my reads for the day, and then that didn't even happen, so I decided to do a wrap-up. As you guys know, just like I predicted, it, I didn't complete most of the challenges or anything, but you know what? I had fun reading what I did read, and when it stopped being fun, when I started seeing it as a chore, when I just started reading because I needed to meet a certain number of pages, that's when I decided that I needed to step back and read a little less, or in some, one of the days, I think it was day four, four, day four, I didn't read at all. Because I just, I felt it was a chore, and it wasn't because of the readathon, it was because that's just the way I go. I was not really enjoying what I was reading because I was more focused on the page numbers. So, what I did read, I fully enjoyed. It was so much fun, and I watched a lot of updates <laughs> for the readathon, and I loved seeing what you guys were reading, and some of you guys rock. I'm gonna go best and say, guys, I'm kind of a slow reader. Yeah. I mean, I could go on about excuses about how I manage my own home, and how I cook and clean and work a full-time job, but in the end, the truth is, 300 pages a day for me most days is just way too much. So, let's get into what I did read. The first book I actually managed to finish was Bioshock by John Shirley. And this completed my challenge of um, the book that's been on your shelf the longest. And this was 430 pages long. The next book I finished for the readathon actually wasn't on my list originally. And that was Stitches by David Small. And you've seen this book in, a, in the last haul I did. And I mentioned how much I loved it. And when I was done with Bioshock, I just needed something nice, easy, fast that would just glide on there because I was just kind of, not in a reading slump, but I was, uh, I just needed something nice. And this completed the challenge of rereading a book, and this was 300, I think, and 45 pages long. Next up, I actually, I managed to finish a classic, and that was book one in the Foundation Trilogy, Foundation, and that was 250 pages long, and oh my gosh, guys, I am so looking forward to finishing this trilogy in the future because... I really, really loved book one. So that was 250 pages that you can add on to the other pages. Either way, I'll add it all up for you in the end. And the final book I did not finish, but I got 150 pages in, is The Emerald Atlas by John Stevens. And oh my gosh, you guys, I am currently reading this, and I am loving it. I love this book so much. So that's it. Those are the books that I read during the readathon, and I managed to read 1,105 pages, which is about 157, 158 pages per day. And I'm really proud of that. I mean, I had fun doing it, and like I said, when it stopped being fun for me, I kind of took a step back and decided to slow it down. But this was an amazing thing. I really enjoyed it. And I hope that next year it happens again because who knows, maybe next year I'll actually meet all the challenges. I had a lot of fun. I hope this happens again. And I will definitely be participating because I do it for fun and for reading. Yeah, I hope you guys had fun, If those of you that were doing it. And those of you that didn't do it, I highly recommend that next year you guys go ahead for it. You know, you don't have to meet every challenge, but just the idea that it brings you as a community to read every day. That's just a lot of fun. And yeah, um, so that's pretty much it for this video. I guess I'll see you guys next time.